Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LZ Alpha with this glorious bunch of duplicates here trying to make our way into the future with as much comfort and ease as possible. Today, or at least for the beginning part of this episode, I just kind of want to sit back and let a few things roll through. You can see that we have quite a few little jobs here that just haven't got round to getting done, and I feel like this is something that we could just let our duplicates go around and do. Watching just the tick over of the base is also very, very satisfying during a, 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 any daytime. Uh, watching Jelly move the coal from up there down into the coal generators was pro good. Well, what did you pick up then, buddy? I thought that's what you were doing. Let's have a look. Let's see what he's doing. Carried item zero. Did he, like, pick it up and then drop it? I don't know what happened there. These are some of the fun things you get to notice whilst just walking around and looking. I do know that something I do want to try and have a go at over here. I feel like there's not enough hydrogen in the system at the top here. I kind of want to come along but do a whole line of insulated tiles across the top, maybe even dig that out like so, just so there's a bit more thermal mass up there. And the next thing I want to do is also try and take care of the fact that we are solely pumping hydrogen out at the moment. This is not what we're really after. I kind of feel like we need to put two element sensors on the side here, and if they're not both combining to, uh, to oxygen, maybe turn the system off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to pop down a gas element sensor there, and maybe just have the one. Yeah, okay, we're going to go for just the one and then pop that up and across there. Hydrogen tends to conglomerate in the top left, right? Yeah, so this this will be good. If we can get this stuff made here and set it to detect hydrogen, it should uh, detect oxygen. Sorry, yes, much, much better choice. Uh, it will turn this off when it has run out of the oxygen at the bottom here. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good choice. As he wants to leave the base running, immediately starts building stuff. All right, Mimi has come along and sorted out that automation system there. I've set it up for oxygen so that if the hydrogen up here ever ends up being pulled down into this area, we're not going to be losing all this lovely cold that we've been building up. And that's kind of what it's been about, uh, keeping a whole a host of cold up here so when the radiant pipes come through, oh, we can start trying to get the temperature down. That's that's my idea anyway. That's why all these wheeze warts are here. I saw it working online for someone. I'm not sure it's working so great for me. Well, one day done, we've got all of these tiles filled in over here and down over below by the oil biome, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of this pipe work put in, which I think is very good. We are going to have a bit of a problem getting these ones here. Maybe if I build, uh, dig a little hole like that, that will allow people to dig through there and there. I'm hoping uh, by standing on this block, we can reach all this other stuff. This says unreach. Oh, of course, that's that one that I was uh, just looking at. So that should be... Fine. The automation here is running as we were expecting. I was kind of expecting these to uh, have some sort of overheat issue at some point, but we seem to be doing okay for the moment. I can definitely see us ending up building some sort of cooling plant in the middle of here, because obviously I want to have all the crude oil spilling out and going down, passing over the metal tiles, and then coming back up this side as petroleum. So I uh, definitely have to see some cooling plant being made in the center. And a new cycle springs into action. We're following Mimi here. I'm expecting her to move off to the right to go and work on some of the stuff. Oh, oh wow, they forgot that we were following. That's a bit of a shame there. That's, uh, that's a, a weird thing. I've never had that before. Okay, so we're going off over this way because we have uh, some stuff that we want to go deal with. I particularly do want to deal with that heavy wire not being built at some point. But the stuff over this side that I really want to get built is, of course, the hydrogen chamber above my oxygen production over here. I, wow, Forrest has made it over here already. I am amazed by this. But uh, Mimi should be coming along to start building these sort of tiles over here. And I think actually what I want to do is come over and go, hey, can you take the buildings? I'm actually going to make it quite a high priority and get rid of those tiles there. As soon as these tiles get built, I will also put in some other tiles. And that will, uh, sorry, take out these tiles as well. And that should give us a little bit more headroom to still store up a little bit more hydrogen so we don't end up with like little pockets of, uh, of gas and uh, cold and hot and it can all be evened out, I think is what I'm trying to say there. I always find it interesting that deconstructs are given priority over builds. These both have the same priority, this build and these deconstructs. But, uh, and even these builds got placed down first to be done. But turns out that no, no, this is not a consideration that we need to uh, take into mind here. No, we are just trying to do the deconstructs first. Mimi and Mad Frank making very quick work of the tiles over here. Mad Frank significantly more so than Mimi, though I have noticed this little, uh, this little bug a couple of times now where one of the duplicates will end up dropping into a tile that they themselves have just built. 
uh, and then you've got to wait for almost the entire time of the build process all over again before they'll just go, actually, yeah, you know what, I am done here. It's, uh, it's a bit weird, it's a bit weird. Ah, wonderful. Someone went and fixed this whilst I was away. That's good. That's good. I'm hoping that this atmospheric suit up here is indeed an extra one. Is indeed Shout Shouticus. Oh, man. My my language skills seem to be severely broken today, guys. I don't know what's going on. First, that terrible sentence up about the hydrogen um, thermal mass, and now Shouticus. I just... Oh, I seem broken. But anyway, we have now got an extra atmospheric suit on this side. That does mean that the majority of our duplicants can now leave. Okay, so with all the atmospheric suits in use, this means we still end up with one duplicant being left behind in the base. We want to try and make sure that we can get all of them out at some point. That's why I've got this little downturn on the pipe. Because if I come over to the... Oh, I had this problem before where I didn't know where the achievements were kept. Let's go for the colony research report. Go to the colony summary summary and down here somewhere have eight duplicates wear non-default clothing no that's not the one we're after for 10 cycles in a row have every duplicate in the colony at least uh, complete at least one chore whilst wearing an exosuit this should hopefully now tick over i think 10 10 in a row we'll, we'll, we'll see how that works out that's not going to be this episode though that's going to be next episode right okay now we're achieving the overheat damages over here that i was worried about what temperature is this gas being run in at 50 degrees i was kind of expecting ah uh, you see it's kind of picking up a bit of temperature on the way up here and then the heating of these is uh doing us a bad so what we need to do here is try and figure out a way of making a cooling system here now obviously the quick way is to basically build one of uh, not one of these one of these but down there just maybe have one steam vent and then have a uh, thermal aqua tuner underneath uh, and that will be able to keep everything nice and cool for us i'm not sure what liquids i would use to keep stuff cool obviously we've got a whole bunch of seawater that we could turn into brine and my uh, my ideal choice would probably be the ethanol but getting it down i don't know to be used would be very awkward Wow, it's getting bad here. All the others have started heating up. So I put down a steam turbine, a thermal aqua tuna, and we're just waiting for everything to come along and start getting used over here. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're going to need some conductive wire, no doubt, to go from between here and up to this. And then maybe a transformer coming back off of this wouldn't go amiss as well. This being this main power line over here. Because of course, oh, I mean, like we could just kind of fill all this in how much do we have it's all made out of lead that's really not what i want to use is it okay we've got a bit of a situation kicking off over this side one of my batteries one of my smart batteries is actually overheating i mean it is quite warm over here so i am not overly surprised but i uh I made it out of lead. This was a bad idea. So I'll ask someone to deconstruct it at the highest possible uh, settings over here. And we can see Forrest is coming along to make some metals for me. So once this gets destroyed, I'm going to come in. I'm going to go, hey, can I have some power? Can I have a smart battery? Can we have it? Ah, oh, made out of something not lead. That that would be really good. How much more do we need? Uh, a little bit more. Yeah, and we slap the aluminium battery down there. That should, that should be fine, right? No massive overheat temperature what to worry about. Hmm, Luna seems to be stuck in a forever recycling cycling cycle I don't, I don't know what you want to call that but yeah she is stuck there look there's no uh, no energy bar underneath no like uh, hey this is going to take this long uh, i wonder what happens if i move her away does she just then have to come back and try it again i, I don't know i'm just gonna leave her there whilst everybody else works around her well maybe she'll be there until the end of the cycle speaking of which ooh, we're gonna be getting a new uh, new achievement at the end of this cycle Ah, oh, the length of the days are just so short. We're getting some of the work done. Thankfully, we did manage to get that battery done as shown previously. And all this is kind of ticking over quite nicely. Well, the energy situation is very much well in hand. We're producing about four kilowatts and we're consuming about three. So, uh, yeah, I'm down with that. Sounds great. Mimi, what are you doing down there? How have you got all the way down? Oh, man, we haven't even put the leathers in place. You must have jumped down when, like, this tire was in place. Oh, no. It's uh, it's going to be a while. I don't know if you're going to be able to get out at the end of the cycle or not. That That's one of the big questions that I have here is, are you going to be able to escape? I should imagine so, given the fact that we've got like these, uh, these ladders up on a super high priority. Maybe this one could do with being on a high priority as well so they can get in and stand up. Where? Why are you idle? What's going on? Oh, there's two tiles that you cannot get past here. Okay, let's, uh, let's put both of those at super high priority and see if anybody's going to come along and make the deliveries that mean that this can get worked on. No, not at the moment. Oh, I wonder where the granite delivery was going to then uh it doesn't seem like an automated wire thing and everything else has already been built so it must be the tile it just wasn't enough 
Dr. Captain Subs himself is on the way to save the day. Beautiful. I couldn't think, I couldn't ask for a more capable human being to come along. Well, like duplicates. There's, there's no human beings here, are there? No human beings on this rock. But I couldn't ask for a more capable duplicate to come along and try and save the day. Of course, being both a doctor and a captain, that makes him doubly qualified as a day saver. And along he comes to finish off the job. Beautiful, man. Well done. Oh, you're even coming down to hand up. Help out with some other stuff. Moving more granite around. Dude, you are the dude. Okay, we have a bit of a situation. The last uh, downtime has been called for day 364, but Mimi finds herself stuck without a situation of being able to get out. Thankfully, uh, the deliveries have been made to, come, to do these two tiles, and now Mimi should be able to just jump up and out and then make her escape out. Beautiful. Small small piece of jeopardy averted, aver avoided is the word I'm looking for there. Or maybe averted. I'm not sure. One of those two. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. One year to be exact. You probably can't see this one down in the bottom of my corner. That's a steam achievement. If we come up here and go, oh, yeah. One year to be exact. Reach exactly 365.25 of a colony. Though, of course, as we all know, it's actually 0 0.24008392. Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it's not to be exact, but it's close enough for our, uh, our purposes anyway. Okay, now that the floor has been put into place, not only do I want to clear all these materials out of here, but we also want to start putting in some uh, some liquids down below. And there's two types of liquids I actually want to put in here. I want to put some crude oil and I want to put some actual water. The crude oil to make a small little uh, line along the bottom, a small little uh, film, if you will, a meniscus, uh, and the water to provide the steam because, uh, yeah, we, we need to have it quite hot in here. I'm not sure if there's a way of actually feeding water into this line. That, that that might be the way to do it here actually and then we can always have extra water and then we can like get rid of that line later on you can see we've got some polluted water coming out here let's press the f6 button uh, we've actually got water coming in down here so maybe no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna send a whole line around we'll uh, we'll drag a temporary line across this way Okay, we got the steam turbine in place. We're getting the aqua tuner down. Oh man, this is all going incredibly well. If only they'd uh, get all this wiring, uh, piping, sorry, done. Oh, what's going on here? Miss the line coming. Like, look how late in the night it is. And she's just like, yeah, I'm going to come all the way down here to grab some food and then go back. I think once again we're going to watch a situation where Miss Aligned actually doesn't make it to bed tonight, which is going to be a little bit crazy because she does this quite often. Obviously a bit of a night out. I mean, that's there's no problem wrong, uh, no thing wrong with that. We've got a duplicate that's encountered slime lung. Germs at risk of exposure if contact continues. I, I didn't realize, realize we were going to have that much slime lung. Let's, let's click this and see where we were actually getting it from. I can only assume that it's oh, all the way down the bottom here. Like, what? where's F9? Let's have a look at this. I see Oh, slime lung. Didn't know it actually existed down here. I uh, I don't think that's right. Current current temperature minus two thousand. If we are we're no we're not in a in a vacuum. What's going on with this? These temperatures are definitely not that low. Look look three hundred. Uh, sorry thirty nine. Uh, 40 so why are we why are we showing that that's that's not right maybe because the pipe is empty that might be the case yeah may, maybe it's because the pipe is empty but you would have expected it to pick up the uh, the temperature of the actual pipe right yeah maybe I don't know oh, it's taken us so long to build us this one is broken all again ah oh, it's just so bad right but anyway I've been putting in this uh, heavy watt wire at the top here it's still kind of a sealed system off from the main grid but we're coming back we're going through a power transformer this is going to go down and power the um the thermal aqua tuner down here and of course the water shut off valve over here as well one thing i've not considered is what do i do with the water when it doesn't want to go through the shut off valve obviously we're gonna to have to make some sort of uh auxiliary what's the word that i'm looking for uh, oxygen system like we have up here maybe we'll just make another copy of this yeah that that might actually work out for us then we get some extra oxygen as well i don't know what we're going to do with that oxygen freeze it and store it as a solid block. I don't even know if we can do that, but that would be great, right? Why aren't these being built? Are they uh, un unreachable? Let's have a look. No, they are reachable, just people have not given them high enough priorities. Okay, fair. Okay, it's telling me I don't have any storage available for salt, which must be this. Yeah, look at that. Rust and salt are full. So we're going to put down another storage bin over here. Again, I really would like to move this set up here under here or something like that yeah actually that might work out incredibly well uh but you know for now until i can devote more time to that why why would you drop this thing all the way down the ladder you were literally at the door literally ah. well at least miss gets to eat today eh Ooh, yeah i'll take a fungal spore thanks give us another mushroom 
Wow, it takes a lot of materials to actually get one of these built. You can see Miss Aligns on this, then someone else is going to have to be on it again, and then someone else is going to have to be on it. That's even just to get this first one done. Ah, oh, it's quite an effort. Did I explain the weird pipe setup here? Probably not. So what's happened is I've gone into a thermal pipe sensor looking for how cool the liquid is coming in. Because obviously the first thing we want to do is make sure that we don't freeze the liquid coming in. Uh, because of course the gas pipe, the uh, liquid pipes will break and stuff like that. So if the thermal aqua tuner is turned off because the liquid is too cold, it goes past this intake uh, and flows through the liquid pipe to come to the other side. Uh, the, uh, the, the intake here will always take priority because we flow past it first. It's a similar set setup to what we have going on over here. The water that is outbound first, get pick first gets picked up by the electrolyzers here. Not the best example because this is backed up a little way. <laughs> Lol, someone's dropped an egg inside the kill chamber. I mean, that does mean almost instantly... Look, there's another one up here. They're gonna die. Uh, I mean, that's that's weird. That's weird, but that's cool. Are we um, we clumped up here? Are we uh, overcrowded up here by any chance? Yeah, okay, so we must be trying to kill them off one by one. Uh, uh, but we are producing a lot of, lot of coal, so I can't really argue too much against it. Okay, given that the pipe network is very nearly complete, I've got a few other non-intuitive things I want to do. I want to get a liquid bridge here, and I want to make sure that we're pushing uh, from one side to the other. So the polluted water coming out of these two will get put into the this network if it can because I'm trying to increase the thermal mass not the thermal amount or anything like that just how much cold I can store or how much heat we can transfer around if you want to get specific about it so I'm going to pour as much carbon uh, polluted water in there as possible turns out I don't know what liquids I'm talking about today uh, so as much polluted uh, water in there as possible not only because it's a nice handy liquid to have around but if we go and have a look you can see that it's freezing temperature is actually very low lower than ethanol lower than normal water and of course, its uh, boiling point is also quite high. So we're going to try and keep it on the low end of that. This, of course, is saying, hey, if it's below 10 degrees, don't put it into the thermal aqua tuner because the thermal aqua tuner takes away about 20 degrees. Uh, so we definitely want to make sure that there's some, some room, some wiggle room for it, right? Hmm, that's both funny and annoying. All right, we need to move this bridge somewhere. As you can see, what's happening here is for some reason it thinks they want to go up and across and down here before going down over this way. I can only assume that's a flow issue. I mean, Obviously, it's a flow issue, but what we're going to do about that, I think maybe we'll try and jump the bridge across here, and then maybe it thinks that there's more to be done down this way. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's just deconstruct it and find out. Finally got this last... Ah, we haven't got this last piece done, though, have we? Because, oh, yeah, there is a little liquid bridge down there. So hopefully now we've got liquids flowing down this way. This is beautiful. Uh, I'm almost tempted to, now that immediately we've got this flowing, to cut this, uh, cut this back off, because I'm almost certain we've already got enough water into the system to get going. But I will... Keep, keep this flowing until we've got a bit of a layer built up down here. You can see that the insulated tile has started to uh, to do its work down here. Sorry, the insulated pipe. Uh, I'm a little bit intrigued by the fact that this is not doing its work, but that is because it's got no power. Okay, that's fine. Let's do the F6 and see what's going on with the uh, water tripling around like that. Okay, it's looking pretty good, but definitely need to get this other bridge put into place. That was the liquid bridge there. It's a high priority, and Mimi is on it. Look, in, that, in fact, here she is to work on it right now. She did the delivery. Who's going to do the build. Um, I mean, probably Mimi again, right? Oh, I don't know. She's picked up some coal. She's going off to do some other jobs. Might not be the winner there. I heard someone doing some digging. Oh, miss. Hey, I mean, like, great, but also not great. I'm not not really ready for that yet, if I'm to be honest with you. It's on a build priority of one. How is this stuff on a much higher build priority not picture interest more? Ah, uh, it's because actually what we're doing is working on the temperature shift plate. Ooh, that had me super worried there, but no, turns out we're alright. We are alright. Hmm. Hmm. It seems to be in some sort of situation where no one's coming along to deal with these, despite them being, like, the highest priority problems. Let's do that and see if anyone's going to come along anyway. I don't think they will. I think maybe we're missing some material. Some aluminium ore. Let's have a look. We come down into here. We have a look at the metal ores. And we've got loads of aluminium ore. It's even all in here. Why not? Why can't you? So, so people can't get through here. But how about the moment Luna drops her suit? Is now Forrest going to be like, yes, yes, aluminium? No, not. Hmm. Mayhaps it's time to break them down again. Oh, look, this one, this one's got an errand. Okay, let's have a look. People are working on it. Okay, that that's fine. This is this one's the high priority. That oh, I don't. 
I don't understand. Mm, there's no display in the progress bar for the uh, repair errands. So actually quite annoying. I would like to know more. Please tell me more. Well, Frank seems to have done here, so I will take that as a winner. I'm looking at the amount of liquid we're putting down here right now. Uh, it's quite a bit. We've got 100 and, call it 150 kilos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break this insulated pipe right here. That should then allow all the liquids to drain in there. And then we've got all this layer of water to turn into steam. And that should hopefully... As long as things all work out okay, turn into uh, a generator steam for us to make some heat out of. Tempted to kind of leave this gap here so when the steam comes and fills up the upper areas, the carbon dioxide gets squeezed out. I'm not sure if that's actually the case of what will happen, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? We end up with steam spilling out everywhere and killing everybody. Probably shouldn't answer those rhetorical questions that I ask myself, eh? <laughs> Turns out I have to change the transformer I'm using because it can't put out enough power for the thermal aqua tuner. I was going to go put a battery in there, but that's not what is needed, no. It's the fact that the small power transfer could only put through a maximum of like 400, no, it was 1,000 uh, thousand watts, and this needs 1,200, so uh, yeah, a bit of a problem there. Also, I put the bypass in wrong. You, you literally need to have it flowing beyond, let me press that button again, uh, the liquid that comes up and through the pipe uh, through the gas bridge, sorry, cannot go past this uh, liquid output here, else it will class it as uh, being the pipe is being full, and then it won't be able to pour any more water out, and that, that will be rubbish. Okay, once again, night time, not allowing it. we got to get this thing built. I mean, like, obviously, we can allow it, but there we go. All right, we've got some power transformer built, and that should now start getting in a situation where this is going to bring this down to about 10 degrees. It's going to take a little while for it to actually start working properly, but it should work out quite well. It would be really nice if we had 10, 10 kilograms gram packets running all the way through this but uh, I think with the way that we've got the water set up here it's going to be a very hard situation to achieve anyway maybe what we need to do is bring some more liquids over this way and then feed it down into that that, that might be a way uh, maybe like bringing it in at the beginning of the system here and then it loops through uh, something like that anyway okay we're getting in a situation where we've got a lot of pipe backing up backing up here that's kind of cool because eventually it's going to end up backing up into this loop as well and then we'll be done with feeding the uh, the excess water in. A little surprised that we've not had to uh, feed any more water in or rather that this has not become warm enough to start spilling out yet. Uh, definitely going to be thinking about this extra water line at the top here for when and if we need it. Of course all we need to do is just re remake that connection there. Uh, we have jammed up. Okay that's fine, that's fine. Let's let this uh, keep flowing at least for a little while just to get these flowing out here. Watch the temperature of the water. We're down at 14 uh, degrees. That's, that's quite nice actually. That's quite nice. What have we got down here down six maybe this is the problem is it doesn't know where to flow now with this uh that's 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 cool that's fine uh, i really just want this to fill up enough that i can destroy this bridge and not worry about it too much then because obviously that is what's causing the 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 looping issues i think that's what's causing the looping issues maybe we could do having another valve here this radiant gas pipe here could probably be taken out uh, and moved across and then have a gas bridge come down. You know what? We're going to do that whilst we're talking about it. I'm going to put a gas bridge. I'm going to swing this around. And we're going to put that there. And then I'm going to get a radiant pipe. And we're going to pull it across like this. And then I'm going to ask them to destroy that one. And we're going to end up with... Uh polluted water falling on the floor, but I'm not that bothered about that, actually. Not that we have too much choice to do otherwise, but I'm going to let this run overnight, see if we can uh, destroy this piece in the morning. In fact, I'm going to now access the deconstruct, say, hey, make it a high priority. And we're going to wait till morning. Hopefully at that point, we would have filled up enough that it's actually going to be flowing in a nice and nice and considerate manner. You know, this, this hopefully should just be like flow out of here, go to the different places to flow in from. Uh, maybe we need to put another gas bridge here, but we'll see what happens at this side when it all uh, functions out. Mimi's going to be coming along in the morning to come and finish this job. That should be a beautiful forest there, hopefully, as soon as she arrives. It's going to take a little while for her to walk down here, of course. That's why I was quite comfortable setting the job whilst we were looking at it. I'm now going to click on Mimi's name so we can see where she is. Okay, there. All right, now that we've got that flowing like that, no, that's 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 not great. Okay, all right, let's try and do this again. We're going to have plumbing. We're going to get the liquid bridge. I'm going to turn this around this way, uh, and then that pipe right there, I'm going to deconstruct and see if that helps, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, that's much better. When all else fails, just keep adding in liquid bridges until you get to do what you need to do. All right, this is unfortunately having priority over that one. That's not quite what I wanted either. Um, we can change that by, I don't know, moving this one up and then pulling an extra piece of line down.
down. You see how these share out at this junction as opposed to just stacking what it can? Uh, but it should be fine. It should work out. Okay, I think I may have put too much water in here. I'm looking at this system turning over, and a lot of the time when this starts putting, pushing out there, oh, not only are we actually down to the 10 degree limit, but a lot of the time, uh, this thermal aqua tune will try to output, and then some of the water will get backed up by the stuff that is bypassing. You might even see it happen now. Uh, no, no, unfortunately it doesn't. But every now and then that causes a bit of a backup to happen. And you can see we've also got a bit of a back trail happening over here. So I'm thinking just to solve us a lot of issues, I'm going to go ahead. I don't know why I keep looking in the gas vents. I'm going to get a little water vent out. And I'm just going to put that there. And we're going to drain half of it. I don't know. We'll try. A new day dawns and it comes loaded with two surprises. Of course it is. It can't just uh, run fine, can it? So first surprise, this is done. Yay. All right. I'm all about that. Second surprise. Prize, aside from the f oh oh a third surprise is the fact that this has all been dug through and look it is warming it up beautiful okay we'll have to uh, come down and work on that the other thing is the fact that these all need power i did not know that these needed power i just need to see whether we can actually run heavy watt wire through there okay so that should be fine that'll be fine we will put some join plates through and that will uh, work out wonderfully um i suppose well we're, we're gonna see what happens with this Okay, Mimi almost immediately turns up to do the job for us. Uh, like I say, I do not want to get rid of too much, so I think I'm immediately, now that we've put it into place, go, uh, not in this point of view, it turns out, uh, grab the liquid vent, deconstruct, uh, just, just someone really quickly get on that, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit quicker than that if you could. Who is on it? A forest, thank you very much. This now all drains out and we get a good look at how the system is working. I think we got a little bit too much out. Okay, I've just discovered that my liquid pipe has broken. This is very bad. So this must mean that our temperature is just down a little bit too low. Yeah, you can see it's down at minus two at the moment. We don't want minus numbers. Uh, I'm going to go with a fifth. Let's, let's be let's be generous. I'm going to go with a 20 here. Uh, of course, this is all open, so someone should be able to make their way through and make this at the moment and fix this, sorry. Uh, thankfully, the bypass doing its job. Okay, we've had to take some drastic measures to try and get this pipe fixed here, and still is, uh, seems to be taking a little bit of time but i've gone and changed both of these into insulated pipes just to make sure that doesn't happen again but also i have turned up the temperature as you previously saw the uh, little bit of polluted water in there i don't think it's going to be too much of a problem once we get this up to a high enough temperature to start steaming and start turning the uh, steam turbine over it should work out pretty well it'll turn to steam maybe leave a little bit of slime behind but we can vaporize that as well uh, but with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where we should have the steam the turbine turning but we'll be able to keep an eye on that as we try and fix these oil wells but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye